That's what he's saying. The meme comes sukun before every letter in the alphabet. This is what the line means. Say it again. What this line means, well, mimu in taskun taji qabl al hijah means that when the meme, when it comes sakin, it will appear before all the letters. Why is it important that he makes this point? Because what we're doing, what did I tell you earlier when we did the beginning of usul al tafsir, we, we mentioned, and usul al tajweed, we mentioned that tafsir, qira'a, and tajweed, they all mix together, right? Ilm al Quran is tied to tajweed. Because from the ulum, from the sciences of the Qur'an, is learning how to recite it, the way it was revealed. And also learning how the letters come. You become knowledgeable, you become familiar with everything about this book, about this Qur'an, right? And also in the, the science of Qira'ah, it tells you which letters come ta maftuha, which ones come ta maburta. It's very detailed. We call it rasmi, how the Quran is written. A lot of students these days don't want to sit for these lessons because you can't go giving fatwas with it. You can't, there's nothing you could, you know, you can brag about to it. You got to sit down and do it. You know, and it takes time, consistency. However, this is part of the rasmal of the Quran because he's telling you now, meme, when it comes, it comes sakina, you know, and if it comes sakin, it comes before all the letters, except one. La alif in layinatil hijah. He says, except no alif layina. What is alif layina? This is a term now. This is a term called alifun layina. And I'm putting a box over it because I don't want to underline. Okay? It's called alif layina. What's the word called? What does layina mean? We went over this. We said lean. We spoke about lean. When you learned the alphabet, I taught you this term is called lean. Okay? It's from the sifat. Lean, everybody say this word. Lean is when you have what we call diphthongs in, in, in English. You have the ow sound or you have the a sound. Okay? Say ow. A. You practice it in Quran you say khawf or bait, you know, those ayat right there, because it mentions that. So this is when the alif of the wow or the ya, they come layina, easy. Right? Allah tells us, qulu qawlan layina, la'allahu. Yeah, I forget the rest of the ayat, wa man sani illa shaytan. Musa was told to speak to Fir'aun with a light word, easy word. Okay? So that the, so that the ala sh um, shaytan, Fir'aun might re remember and come back. So alif layina is the alif, just like the wow and ya that come in the same, same style, lean, when the alif comes with a, a fatha before it. Okay? This is called layina. Because remember, when you did the alphabet, the first letter, the alif, it only comes after fat, only following a fat. Alif does not have its own sound. It only shows up after a fat. That's the rule. There are exceptions. Or shows up at the ends of words right before they crash. But that's another thing. But the first rule that we learned about Alif is that it always shows up after what? Fat. And we mentioned also, again, sidebar over here, that Alif is a term that represents what? It represents Alif and it also represents what? Hamza. How many Hamzas? Two types of Hamza. What does this sign right here mean? How's the, what is that sign? It's an Ain, right? It's an Ain. What is this sign right here? A sod. It's a sun. Why did they come like that? Because this uh, Ain from the word what? Qata'i. Right? And this is the Ain from what? Wasli. All right? You get that? Wasl means to join. So you put the sod. Qati means to cut it. You know, you have that. So when you recite this, whenever you see this one, you say A-E-U. It cuts into the word. Right? And when you see this one, it joins, you just join it, and it rides upon the alifun, the wow, and even, yeah. That's with the Hamza, right? But we call it alif. So alif is itself and also Hamza. Alif is itself and also Hamza. Well, Hamza is itself, not else, that's it. Shazakallah khair, salam alaikum, ma'am. That's it, not else, just Hamza, Hamza. And he says Hamza, Hamza, why? Because it's Hamza tul Qata'i and Hamza tul Wasli. You see how if you memorize one lesson, it helps you in the other one? Okay, that's that right there. So, 
That's what we're talking about with regards to the Hamza and the, the Hamza to Wasli and Hamza to Qati. When we're dealing with the Alif, it only comes after Fatha. Right? So if that's the case, there cannot be no meme or sack you know, before an Alif, can there? Now before an Alif, uh, can there be? Do you guys follow me or don't follow me? I didn't think this was difficult because if meme is sacking, meme comes sacking right here, then as an alif, can there be an alif there? Why? Because alif can only come before a, a what? A fatha. And if it's fatha, then it's not meme is sacking, is it? So that's why he says, la alif in layyina li dhil hija. Dhil hija means the one who got an intellect. Smart guy. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Dhil hija means dhul aql, the one who has an intellect. Whoever can think can know that we're not talking about Alif Layyina when we mention Al Hijjah. Everybody follow me in this right here, or did I go too quick? Wow. <laughs> Let me repeat it one more time, okay? والميم إن تسكون تجي قبل الهجاء لا ألف لينة لذ الهجاء. He says the meme when it comes sakina, it comes before every letter. Okay, it comes for every letter. It comes before ba, ta, tha, jim, ha, kha. Okay. All dal, dal, ra, za, sin, shin, sad, dad, tad, ain, gain, fa, qaf, kaf, lam, mim, nu, ha, wa, ya. La alif in layyina. You notice we didn't say alif. It doesn't come, however, before alif in layyina. What is alif in layyina? The alif that comes. With wow and yeah. No, with a fatha before it. Okay? And this should be well known to the one who has hijjah, has an intellect, who can think. Okay? He's, he's just being, he's not saying you're ignorant. I mean, we are ignorant, but he's not disrespecting anybody in this line, he's saying if you think about it, it can't be Alif Layyina. That's the only point that he's making here. Okay? Let me do this again. You see, if Meme comes Sukun, it comes before Del, Vel, Ra, Ze, Sin, right? Sheen, and all the other letters. Ila Akhirihi. Okay? Not, but if it's Sukun, it won't come before alif because alif layyina is the alif that comes before an uh, alif that comes with a fatha before it, and that means there's a contra counter introduction here. That means we're saying an uh, oxymoronic statement. If this alif layyina is an ibadah, an expression of an alif that comes with a fatha before it, and the meme is meme asakina, meaning the letter meme with a sukun over it, there is no way these two can come together, ever. Does that make more sense yeah. like that? Yeah. Okay, so I got wham through that pretty cool. Exactly here. You know, my teacher used to say that your students are your teachers because they teach you how to teach. They teach you what makes sense. It may make sense to people who already know it, but you ain't trying to talk it to them. You got to explain it to people who don't know it and then get to know it. So everybody's clear on that, right? Okay. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Help me out. Help me out, man. لا 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 صلي وقتين. Okay. والميم إن تسكون قبل تجي قبل الهجاء لا ألف اللينة الذي الهجاء. That's the first line right here. أحكامه ثلاثة لمن ضبط. The next line goes as such. أحكامها. What am I saying? Okay, I'll read my notes. What I wrote, I said, this line means that the Mimu Sakina will come before every letter in the alphabet except Aliful Layyina. And this is because Aliful Layyina only comes before letters that carry Fatha. Also, the Alif is called Layyina or relenting because it sounds, relents to whatever the present preceding letter is. For example, Ma, La, The. Each has an Aliful Layyina in its construction. And in each, the Alif sound relents or gives in to the sound of the letter before it. Now, I'm not going to put that on the board because that is just something that really doesn't, uh, linguistically, that really doesn't really make a point for us right here. 